Welcome to Joe Newton online class. In this video, I want to continue the task at hand, which is revision practice on mathematics for recruitment exams. This is for teacher applicants and for students uh, going for active test. So let us continue. This is episode three of our exercise on this subject matter, which is mathematics practice. Thank you. Now, number one question says, Expand 3x bracket open plus 2 bracket close into bracket open x minus 5 bracket close. So in solving this simply, to expand this to remove bracket. So number 1, it means you now have 3x plus 2 into x minus 5. That will be equal to 3x times x means 3x squared. Then 3x times minus 5 equals minus 15x. Then this plus 2 times x gives you plus 2x. Then plus times minus is minus. 2 times 5 is 10. And that will give us 3x squared, because this and this are not like terms. Then minus 15x and 2x are like terms. So minus 15 plus 2, when you owe 15 and pay 2, you are still owing 13. Minus 13x, then minus 10, which is also uh, an, an unlike term to this. So this is our answer. Now let's go to the options. That serves option, option C, correct. So that is also option C. Then number two, quickly. What is the probability of picking the letter M in the word mathematics? So probability, probability of letter M in that word, in the word mathematics, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 letters. And the M appeared 1, 2. M appeared twice, two times. That will give us 2 over 11. Simple. Remember, if it is a number that can be reduced to lowest term further, you continue and reduce to lowest term. Okay, so that gives us option C is the answer. Then, let's go to number 3. So, probability is the number of required outcome over number of possible outcome. That is it. Okay, number 3 says, express 1.80 as a fraction in its lowest term. Simple. That have that that be, that is a one point one point eight zero to fraction now becomes one eight over this decimal is one and this one is what zero that is eighteen over ten. Remember this zero after decimal is insignificant. It's not necessary unless if you have a zero before a number or zero after uh, you have zero before a number. Or after this, you have another number that is significant, then you can count it in that digit. So we stop at this. So this is just the structure. So 18 over this one decimal becomes one. This significant digit is zero. The lowest term now we have 2 into 18 gives us 9. 2 into this one gives us 5. Then to you now this is the proper fraction. That will give us 1 or number 4 over 5. So let's look at the options for number 3 question. Option D is the correct answer. Now let's go to number four. Number four question says, find the simple interest on 6,000 6, Naira for five years at 3% per annum. Very simple. Interest equals principal times rate times time all over 100. This 100 comes from the percentage of the rate, which is equivalent to our principal here is the amount invested the amount invested, okay, which is 6,000 Naira times our rate is 3% times 3 times our time is 5 years, all over 100. Remember, if the time is in fraction, you change it to improper fraction. So you have 0 cancel 0, 0 cancel 0. We are left with 63 and 5. So we have 3 times 5 is 15, half 60 times 15 that what we have so 5 times 0 0 5 times 6 30 1 times 0 1 times 6 
six. So we have zero, zero, nine. So our answer is what? 900 Naira. 900 Naira. So go to the options. So answer is D, 900 Naira. Then question number five. Number five says, but before that, you should know sometimes, if they ask you, note, if they ask you to find the principal, therefore, principal will not be what? Interest times 100 over time times rate. Then time will be interest times 100 over principal times rate. Then why the rate will be interest times 100 over principal times time. So you should be mindful of this formula. All this go for simple interest. So now look at the last question, number five. Number five person says, how many degrees does the minute hand of a clock turn in 20 minutes? It's very simple. You should know that 16 minutes make one hour. So and you know that for complete revolution in a circle, is 360 degree. When the clock goes, when the minute hand goes round the clock, it covers 360 degree. That will complete cycle or revolution. So for that reason, this is very simple. You now have that. So it becomes 360 over 60 minutes. 360 in a circle in revolution over 60 minutes that make one hour. Then times 20 minutes over one. But we asked for 20 minutes. So that will give us 0 cancel 0. 6 divided is get 6. So our answer is 6 times 20, which is what? 120 degrees. Simple. So the answer is 120 degrees. So this is very simple. So I believe that with this guide, episode 3 of our recruitment uh, exercise or recruitment maths, mathematics exercise, you will be able to tackle similar questions. So if you did not join the previous class, you visit my YouTube channel at the Newton Online Class to learn more on these tips on how to solve mathematical tests. In there, you will see our episode one and our episode two and other tutorials on mathematics and physics and other sciences. I remain your tutor and friend here, Joe Newton online class. I wish you success. God bless you.